Hey everyone, this is Steve from Publish Press, and I'm going to introduce you to the Publish Press Revisions plugin. This allows you to submit changes to published content on your site. Your users can update posts using the normal WordPress editor, but their changes are not going to be published automatically, which is perfect for live content which is on your site, where you really need to be careful about those changes. Instead, the changes made by your users are going to be stored as a pending revision that can then be approved or rejected or perhaps scheduled for a later date. Let me show you how it works. I have a couple of users on my site. I have a user who's going to be a reviser making changes to published content and I have my own account here. I'm going to go to the plugin screen, click add new and I'll search for revisions. And there we go. There's the Publish Press Revisions plugin. Install, activate, and there's a little description explaining how it works. If a user is a contributor, they can submit revisions to their published posts. A reviser, which is the user we're going to test, can submit revisions to posts and pages published by others. And then authors, editors, and administrators can approve revisions or even schedule their own revisions to go live later in the future. I have revisions enabled on my site and there's a revision queue setting which is where all the submitted revisions are going to be stored and from here I can analyze them, approve them, remove them, I can moderate them from this screen. To get started I'm going to create a revision so we can see it here. I'll go to the posts area, and this is a published post I can work with. Okay, hello world, welcome to WordPress. This is my test revision. And I'm going to make this a pending revision. I'm going to save it, and instead of going live, my changes have now been modified and they've been saved for editorial review. I have a few options. I can preview this new revision. I can go back and edit it further. Or you can go to the revision queue and see your new revision in here. From this screen, you have several useful options, including the compare link. Click on compare. And in here, you can see the old content on the left and you can see the content that has been submitted on the right hand side. Okay, so now I know what's changed. Let me see what it looks like. I can go to the view approve button up here. And this, as the green bar up the top shows me, is a pending revision. Okay, I can go back to the compare screen. I can view the post which is currently published. I can edit this. Or if I want to, I can click on Publish Now to accept this submitted change to the content. So let me double check that. The new version which has been submitted has this is my test revision as an extra sentence. View published post. Okay, this is what is live on the site now. Okay, I think I want to publish this. I'm going to click on Publish Now, and there we go. My change is now live on the site. This is the most basic part of the workflow. I have simply submitted a new change to myself, taken a careful look at it, and then published it. But there are much more advanced things you can do with published press revisions. For example, let me repeat that, but I'm just going to add one more small change. I'll go to the post screen. Click edit, and I'm going to add another sentence. This will be published in the future. Okay, this is going to be a pending revision, and I'm going to change the date to tomorrow. So now, if I click on save revision, the message now says, if it is approved, it will be published on the date that you specified. Hmm. Go to revision queue. 
Okay, now this is scheduled to publish in the future. Let me preview this. Okay, this is a pending revision and it's been requested to go live on October 20th, which is tomorrow. Again, I can compare. I can see the current live version or I can click on approve. And now it's become a scheduled revision. I've approved it and it will automatically go live on the site tomorrow. Back inside the WordPress admin, let me show you one other really cool feature of revisions. I'm on the post screen and you can see that this post has a revision available and there's a revision queue link. So if I click that, I can see the revision for this particular post. It's waiting there. At the moment it is scheduled to go live in the future. But inside here, I can click edit and I can make as many changes as I want. This is like a little playground for me. I'm editing this post, but the changes are not live yet. So I can make as many modifications to this post in safety without anything bad happening. And when I'm ready to save these changes, I can click update revision and those changes are now saved. This post is scheduled to go live on October 20th, which is tomorrow. I can approve this revision if I want to, and it will go live on the site, but I don't have to. I could just leave it sitting there. Let me show you that one more time. I have a post, hello world. And I just want to make a copy of this so that I can play around with it. I'll make a pending revision. I'll save this. And then I can go to keep editing the revision. And so long as I keep on hitting update revision, nothing bad is going to happen. These changes and these typos are not going to go live. This Hello World revision, I've made several changes to it, but it's not live yet. It's in the revision queue, and in here, I can keep on clicking edit, and I can work on this for as long as I want before this post finally goes live on the site. This is one of the really powerful features of Publish Press Revisions. It really is your own little sandbox to work on content before showing it to the world. I'm going to go to the view approve link. I think I'm finally happy with how this looks, but I can use my compare link to see the changes. This is the current live version, and this is the version that I'm working on. I can view the published post, I can edit to make more changes, or I can just publish now. So what we've seen are some of the powerful features from published press revisions for the administrator. However, at the beginning of this video, I showed you two different user accounts. We had my account, the admin, and we also had a reviser account as well. You'll notice that this reviser account is not yet in the reviser role. We've just installed the reviser plugin and that created the reviser role. So I do need to move this account into the reviser role. Now let me test it. I have a plugin installed which allows me to easily switch to the reviser account. I will go to posts and the reviser can see this hello world post. They can't trash it. They can't do anything particularly bad to it. They can click edit and they can make changes to it. This is my suggested change. And at the top, they are not going to see an update button. This reviser can make as many changes as they want to the content. However, the best they can do 
is submit the revision. And then they'll get a message saying that it is waiting for editorial approval. Now, if they want to, they can also keep on editing the revision. I have more to add. And they can click update revision. But at no point will they ever be able to make it live on the site. Even if they go to the front of the site, they are not going to see the approve link. They can compare their changes to the existing post. They can view the published post. They can edit what is actually in their suggested revision, but they cannot change what is appearing on the site. To do that, we need to go back to our user area. I'm going to go back to my admin account. And as the administrator, I can go to the revisions queue. I can see this hello world post that has been submitted by the revisor. I can preview it and I can publish it if I want to, but I don't have to. This is a revision that has been submitted to me by the revisor. I can look at it. I can compare it. I can preview it. I can see if I like it. If I don't, I can click delete. But if I do like the changes that have been suggested by the revisor, then on the preview screen, I can either click publish now or I can go in to edit this post and I can schedule it for a later date. Okay, this is a pending revision. The requested publish date is October 20th. I'm going to approve this and now it is scheduled for publishing tomorrow. So let me give you a quick recap of what has happened here. We have a reviser user who is not trusted to make any changes to live content on the site. They've gone in, they've suggested a change. It's come to me as the administrator. I've looked at it carefully. I've made a couple of tweaks. I have scheduled it to be published tomorrow in place of the post which is currently there, and I've approved it. Tomorrow, I'll be able to come in, and at 9.17 p.m., the changes that me and the revisor have worked on together will automatically replace the current version of the post. We have only just started to dive into some of the capabilities of published press revisions. We haven't touched on email notifications or some of the more advanced features. But hopefully this video gives you an idea of the power of the Publish Press Revisions plugin. And in addition to the free version on WordPress.org, there's a pro version available, Publish Press Revisions, with support for more third-party plugins and page builders. 